go? <laughs> it's um, far enough? For now, yeah. For now. Well, we can go farther if you want. No, I think for now. Alright. What is going on, guys? I'm here fishing with my dad. We just made a long run up river. We're fishing on the Snake River today. We're fishing for, fish for anything. Smallmouth, mostly, is going to be on the um, menu. And uh, we asked a chance for some largemouth. And as usual, the perch, crappie, all that stuff. But we're mostly using ba some bass lures. So we first come to this spot here. Um, can you tell the current is very, very fast right now. And uh, I'm going to get on some hard bits and some rattle traps and crankbaits rolling. But the, the, let me just look at these rocks. Beautiful. We are in gorgeous smallmouth country. We have tons of crawdads in this section of the river. Tons. Uh, in fact, I might even get off on shore and just kind of flip over some rocks. And uh, those smallmouth are just fierce. Fiercely feeding on the crawdads, so let's get a crawdad colored crankbait tied on. All right, the old crankbait box here. Ooh, one jumps out at me right away. This little bandit crankbait here, deep diver. Mmm, that looks good. That good orange color. That's something, you know what? I this is tough because look at this fro crankbait, both pretty similar. Um, this Spro crankbait, it kind of runs a little bit funny. In fact, right out of the package, it ran a little bit funny. So I don't have a ton of confidence in it. I think I'm going to go with the Bandit one. Guys, my dad has, a, before I could even tie on, a little squirt. A little squirt on the 10 and a half inch one. That's funny. <laughs> there we go. Bandit crankbait going down. Guys, these river smallmouth are fierce, especially in this section. So expect some good action from these dudes. First cast of the day. My dad is hooked up. First decent fish of the day. Using a 10 and a half inch worm? Yeah, they chopped down to a five inch. So. <laughs> That's not bad, Smalley. Kind of got his tongue there. There we go. Yep. Pretty little fish. Nice little, little bass. fatty. Oh, look at the word on the end of it there. Oh, yeah. A little something wrong there. Too. Yep. All right, let him go. Cool. Switch to a little tube, guys. First cast of the old tube. I don't know. They just don't seem to be in a chasing mood. My, uh, I've, I had one little dinky one on there for a few seconds, on a crankbait, and my dad was getting a lot of bites on a plastic worm. I got one. Uh huh. We got doubles. He was snagged for a second. My dad has one. I got a little one though. I got a little one too. Oh look, I kind of hooked him on the. Yes, guys, we got it. We did not bring any major food. We had a couple little snacky things, but we did not bring any major food out here with us. So we are doing a catch and cook. I don't know if I mentioned that. We're going to cook up whatever we can catch out here. And so we need some yeah. fish. I keep thinking the current will drive us back, but the wind got one. A small one. Guys, there are a lot of small, small mouth in this river. And so we all just got to find a pocket of nice ones. All right, y'all, that little monster. There we go, that little tube right there getting done. Guys, 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 I was just looking. I was just looking down. Oh, there's a crawdad right here. Oh, he's going to try to pinch me. He's going to try to pinch me. Um, our boat drifted into shore. There's a crawdad right here. Oh, no way. Uh-huh. I got him. Oh, he almost has me. Oh, I got him. Guys, I got me a crawfish. Oh, we drifted right into shore, so I thought I'm just going to lean over the boat, look under the right, and the first rock I flipped up there was a crawdad. Well, what do you think, Pop? Should we... I think should, we might need to tie to, to the tide of the shore and get a few crawdad. I'm hungry. Sounds good. Yeah, let me. I'm going to get off on shore and try to grab a few craws. Got him in a bucket there. My dad is gonna put an anchor. He's gonna fish for bass. He's gonna try to catch the fish. I'm trying to catch the crawdads, and we'll have a nice little dinner right on this boat.
on this one, it has some blue on it. It has red clawed cross, uh, red uh, red claws, and blue on the bottom. That's why I have so many different types of uh, colors of, of baits and stuff because the crawdads can vary by color. Sometimes they can be really orange. Sometimes they can be blue like this. That's crazy. guys we got one dozen crawdads I've got a dozen crawdads so my dad is coming to pick me up I don't think he has any keeper fish yet so we got a little bit of fishing to do before we can eat dinner um, I guess I'll jump on oh check it out that's just about whoa whoa that was a little tree. It got 13 of these bad boys. That's the kind of color I've been getting oh, lately. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> this looks really good. Guys, check out this spot. It's at 15 feet. Guys, look, we got a point coming out here. And a bunch of trees in the water right there. Should be good. Check it out. Since those crawdads had some blue on them, I am switching to this little, it's called a platypus. Uh, or creature bait, some people call them, but the drug creature outfitters calls them the platypus. And uh, uh, has a little bit of blue, you can see right there, green on top. Let's try this bad boy. Thunder. Oh, yeah. Well, you got one. Guys, we got a thunder, but my dad has a fish. Maybe it's a keeper. Oh, maybe he's a keeper. <laughs> Get him in the boat. Look at that, we got a little bit of a storm around us. Oh, he's gonna be close. He's, gonna be close. he's perfect size if he's right at 12 inches. Uh -huh. right. All right, guys, the moment of truth. <gasps> oh, oh yes. he makes he it. He makes it. Right yeah, at his nose is at the deal, and he's a little up for 12. Just a little over 12. All right, take so it. the live ball. The live ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, it was great that we caught that one fish, but we're gonna head down river a little bit because we're quite a ways up river. Just get away from the storm. There's just one, there's just one like thunder cell. So it's not that bad. All right. Away from the storm and look at this cliff right here, guys. Pretty crazy rock formations down here in the canyon. Look at hot. All right, blue and green pumpkin crawl away. I need a little bit of like a red, oh, big carp just jumped right there. Whoa, almost got the boat in the shore. Let me uh, get us out of here. But I need some red, uh, I have one. No, yeah, I do, oh, he just snagged. What is it? I've got one, but he snagged. There we go, I think I got him out, got him on the snag. Yep, oh yeah. Oh, he's in a bunch of weeds, I see. Some bunch of the weeds just came off the line. Guys, that quack, that, that quack. That quick. Ooh, this might be a keeper. Ooh, maybe not. He was in a bunch of weeds. I don't know. Nah, he's not gonna go. He's in those like 11 inches. Dang it. All right, we'll try again. Oh, I have one. Oh, swim to the boat, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, it's gonna be a keeper. That was so weird. It's like I think there's so many weeds and stuff. Yes, it is a keeper. Yes. Oh, yeah. Just about a 12 incher, but hey. Crawdads and some bass. I don't know about Bat you, Pops. City tonight, man. Well, I'm getting hungry. I am I am so hungry. You're so hungry? I'll start cooking then. Look at that guy's beautiful smally. Yes. Guys, on that blue too. A little bit of blue on there. Saw that the crawdads underbellies were blue. Started getting them on that. Sweet. Here you go, my friend. His buddy's going crazy. And we have all the crawdads. Look, all the crawdads are trying to hide under the rock or under the 
this thing here. It's a little bit crazy in there. All right, and we are all set up here. Guys, if you are new to the channel, you wanna know, you're like, what is this setup? We have a propane tank here and a little stove top there in our little pot. Um, I'll put a link to the video for in the description to the video where I first use it. If you guys are original subscribers, you know which episode I'm talking about. So I'll put a link to that as in the description. I put, do a detail, uh, little detail video and all that. But we were a crab boil and then I had planned on using river water, but uh, that's looking a little green. So we're gonna skip the river water and we're just gonna use a bunch of these little uh, water bottles right here. Just fill up this thing. We have a nice flame. You can't really see it on camera because it's a blue flame, but we have a nice flame going on. Got our water. We're just gonna salt the water up really well. You want good salty water for these crustaceans. And then we use Zatarans. Mm, just the smell of this stuff is pungent. I can smell it from here. A generous amount of that flavoring right in there. And I almost forgot an important ingredient. We have a beautiful mwah, lemon here. We are going to cut this and we're just going to squeeze off some lemon juice just to give the crawdads a little zest. So it's going to be spicy with a little bit of lemon zest to them. All right, guys, and now it is time to fillet up some smallmouth while we wait for the water to boil. They have been knocked out. In fact, got to rinse the blood off that guy real quick. You got one? A small one? My dad catching the fire out of them. We just got to get some big ones. For the, this is a small one for the snake river. That to be over 12 inches to keep, but we're just gonna fillet these bad boys up. Beautiful. I'm just gonna throw them directly in the frying pan, then we're gonna put all the seasonings and stuff on top after afterwards. And back over here, the fish are cleaned, and we have the crawdads. Do you wanna just drain the water? It'd be easy to grab these bad sure. boys. That guy's trying to pinch me. Look at him. Oh man, they are. They're feisty, there. Aren't they? These the smallmouth are feisty in this river, and the crawdads. Oh, get out of my way, dude. The crawdads are feisty. Just gonna drain the water. Make sure they don't go down. Ouch! The drain. He got me. He got oh, he's going down the drain. Oh, he's going down the drain. Don't you? Look at it. These guys. I'm gonna they grab are. them by the antenna. I'm telling you, man. They're. All right, you guys. They're all trying to escape down the drain. There you go. That little guy thinks he can do it. It's not quite big enough. Oh, that big one's trying to. He's trying to go down the drain. He's like escape. Little Houdini there. Oh, guys, just about to put in the crawdads, and my dad gets on a fish. He's using my lure too, my blue one. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I told him, I told him that blue one was dynamite. What do we got? Oh, it's a good one. On. Feisty, fierce, and ferocious river smallmouth. Look, look how small that fish is, and they just give up such a fight. And not a small, like not knocking your fish, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, he just spit the lure on that blue. That I saw the crawdads were blue, but on the blue lure. That's a 12 inch. That roll is 12 inch, sure. Throw all, get the sacrificial board out. Water is boiling. It is time to add our crawdad friends here. Dun, 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 dun. All right. <coughs> Here they go. All of them. Like so. And they will turn orange or red. Mmm. Like a bunch of little lobsters. Woo! I love that. <laughs> that is so cool. Look at that guy. Mmm. All right, so the old craws are done, guys. Um, we're gonna take these off, or I'm just gonna set them off to the side for now, because uh, we're gonna let this, this sit in the juices, and then on our little flame here, we're gonna cook the uh, bass. And those are going to be on, uh, soaking in the juices, soaking up that good Zatarain's flavor. So here we have the bass fillets, and we are gonna add a dollop of butter to the whole thing. Boom, right on top. They're just cover them in butter. Ugh. You can already hear that sizzling sound. Look at all that butter and fish. You know this is gonna be good. We're gonna add one of my subscribers sent this to me. Thank you very much again. Everglades fish and chicken seasoning. We're going to sprinkle that right over the top. Yes. 
I love this stuff. This is so good. You guys have been after me to use this. Finally using it. And of course some salt. Gotta have salt on the fish. And a squeeze of lemon. Just a little bit for now. And then we'll finish it off with more lemon juice. That's just to cook in the lemon juice. Oh, hear that sizzling sound. And then guys, we have here a hamburger bun left from a family barbecue we just had. So I'm gonna put that on there. We're gonna let that cook just a minute or two more. All right, that fish is pretty much done there, guys. We're gonna take this big filet right here. Oh, it's just falling apart. Put it right there. Look at that. Load this sandwich up. Look at that, we've got a fish mountain right there. We're going to put the other piece right on top you know what guys there's a peak i'm gonna let him let my dad dig into that oh tomatoes escaping right there pops oh, oh you got another one sorry. on that blue, on that you, blue. i told you that blue is dynamite yeah. you want to uh, i would love to have that i am really hungry let me wash my hands there we go yeah wash them off good there Excuse me. So what do we have here? We have a fried bass sandwich. Oh man. I know I always say hunger is the best sauce, but this the textures are fantastic. The lettuce crunch, the tomato crunch, and then a good soft bread and food or fish. Good stuff. Oh, this is good. Excellent. I'm gonna get you some crawdads now. Yeah. Guys, oh, this is one thing that's wonderful. Look at that big dude. One thing that is so wonderful about the crawdads here in the Pacific Northwest is they don't live in the mud. They just live under the rocks. So you don't need to clean them or do right. anything crazy like that. Down south, they purge them. They do all these things because they live in the mud. And here, they live under rocks in the rivers. A lot of the rivers are clean. Not, not this one in particular, but a lot of the rivers, they're just clean. And so there's not a, they, they taste amazing actually. Look at that, guys. That is some good stuff. We, they should sell crawdad nuggets at McDonald's. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. And then look, a, a claw just fell off that one. So we're gonna, you can get the claw meat out. Look at that. And it's tender, just like in crab. More tender, just like in crabs. And there's a little bit of claw meat. Mm. It's always more tender than the rest mm -hmm. of the crawdad. Mm. Nice follow-up from the bass sandwich. And that was, by the oh, way, fantastic. Good, good. Guys, what a fun day. Just a little afternoon trip. We got out of here like 4.30, just a little afternoon trip. Catch crawdads, catch bass. It is so much fun being out here. Thanks. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> I, love, I like when you cook, too. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for hanging out, and we will see you in the next one. Oh.